How is Apple taking over the phone market? I still remember the day I moved to iPhone from my Lenovo Android, and the thought of using Android again gives me real anxiety. You may think that's exaggeration, but I hope some of you can actually relate. The reason I mention it is because today we're diving into the world of smartphones and taking a closer look at how Apple managed to dominate the phone market. Whether you're an avid iPhone user or a curious Android fan, you can't deny the impact that Apple has had on the smartphone industry. From the iPhone's innovative design to Apple's marketing strategy, there are several factors that have contributed to the company's success. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's explore how Apple took over the iPhone market. A status symbol. In 2022, Apple took over Android by grabbing more than 50% of the US phone market, which is no surprise considering Apple's consistent growth over the years. It's not just grown in the US, but across the globe. One of the reasons behind iPhone's growth is its value and lifestyle promises. In the developing world, as income grows, more and more people are buying iPhones. Why? Because it is a status symbol. Only the rich could afford iPhones a few years back. But as the global income rises, more people can buy iPhone. These people buy it not just for its value, but also as a symbol for their wealth or to show that they are doing well in life. It has become a sort of investment in a better and more stable lifestyle. User experience. But let's get real and talk about the value that is attached with the iPhone. It's remarkable user experience. One of the things that sets Apple apart from other companies is its focus on user experience. Apple's interfaces are highly intuitive and user-friendly, making it easy for even novice users to navigate and access features. The iPhone's interface has remained relatively consistent over the years, with Apple making subtle changes and improvements with each new release. This consistency has helped to create a sense of familiarity and ease of use that has made the iPhone one of the most popular smartphones in the world. Apple's dedication to user experience extends beyond its interfaces to the physical design of its products. Every detail, from the placement of buttons to the weight and feel of the device, is carefully considered to enhance the user's experience. Although I can understand that lightweight androids might be useful to elderly people with carpal tunnel syndrome, but many of us appreciate the feeling of holding an iPhone. It might be more psychological, but the weight makes it feel more precious and seems stronger and more durable. Innovative Design The iPhone's design is one of the reasons why it's become so popular. When it was first launched back in 2007, the iPhone was a game changer. It had a large touchscreen interface and multi-touch technology, which was a significant departure from traditional smartphones, which typically had physical keyboards and smaller screens. Since then, Apple has continued to innovate with features like Face ID and the removal of the home button, which has allowed for a larger screen size. Apple's focus on design is not just limited to the iPhone, but extends to all of its products. From the MacBook to the iPad to the Apple Watch, all Apple products feature sleek and minimalist designs that make them stand out from the competition. In fact, there's a uniformity in Apple's products and phones that its users really appreciate. You know that you won't have to switch over to new models because of drastic changes, nor do you have to worry that new models could look completely different. These steady changes give a sense of stability to the user. The consumers have gone past the era of grand experimentation. Now we are so dependent on our smartphones that drastic changes induce anxiety. Stability is in vogue. All in one device. With Androids, there are multiple options, and each option comes with one or more speciality. For example, there are Infinix or Oppo phones that are affordable but focused on the gaming experience, while there are those that promise better selfies or better video experience. Only the flagship phones provide good, all-around experience. On the other hand, Apple promises the top-tier experience for all users in the same device. From better display to higher performance, it's all there. From managing your business to gaming, it can all be done in one place with great security and peace of mind. This is one of the reasons that Apple's phone market shares have been rising, because they're attracting all types of users. Which brings us to the brand's loyal fan base. Brand Loyalty in a survey, very few people wanted to shift from iPhone to Android, but we know many aspiring iPhone users waiting for their paycheck so they can get an iPhone. One study showed that 49% of Android users wanted to switch over to Apple for security concerns, 
And once you're on the Apple Island, there's a great chance that you won't be going back. Apple's focus on product quality and design has helped build a loyal customer base that is willing to pay a premium for its products. Apple's products are known for their reliability and longevity, with many users continuing to use their phones and other Apple products for years. Apple's commitment to consumer service has also contributed to its loyal customer base. There's this sense of trust between Apple and its users. You know that if something happens, your phone will be fixed like new and sent back to you by Apple itself. No third parties would damage your product. App Store The App Store has been a game changer for Apple. Launched in 2008, it allowed developers to create third-party apps for the iPhone greatly expanding the functionality of the device. Today, there are over 2 million apps available on the App Store, ranging from social media apps like Instagram and Snapchat to productivity tools like Slack and Evernote. The App Store has also created a huge market for app developers, with many successful apps generating millions of dollars in revenue. Apple's App Store review process ensures that all apps are of high quality and adhere to the company's strict guidelines, making it a safe and reliable platform for users to download apps. This point is really important. Why? Because this ensures Apple users' security. Remember the whole Facebook is collecting our data crisis? Well, Apple solved it with just one for all policy. It's now up to Apple users to decide whether they would like a particular app to track their data or not. It is significantly more secure and cares for its users' privacy. Integration and iCloud Magnet Apple's integration between its products has made it easier for users to use and share content across multiple devices. For example, users can seamlessly transfer files between their iPhone, iPad, and Mac using AirDrop. Additionally, Apple's iCloud service allows users to sync their data across devices, making it easy to access important files and information even after shifting to a newer phone. There's another interesting point to make here. The iCloud services are the real magnet that keeps the users in the Apple circle. Once you are registered across multiple platforms from your iCloud email, you know there's no going back. Now that most of my social media accounts and even productivity and work apps are logged in using Apple ID, moving to Android feels like summiting a mountain. Marketing Last but not least is Apple's marketing strategy, a force behind Apple's success. Apple has consistently positioned itself as a premium brand, emphasizing the quality and design of its products. Apple's marketing strategy has also focused on building an emotional connection with its customers, emphasizing the company's values and the role its products play in people's lives. This emotional connection has helped to create a loyal customer base that is willing to pay a premium for Apple's products. In addition, the company's minimalist product packaging and iconic advertising campaigns, such as the Think Different campaign under Steve Jobs' leadership, have helped to build a strong brand identity. In fact, Apple has been thinking differently. It doesn't fall prey to brand races or fancy, playful features. Rather, it prioritizes the user experiences, sleek design, and longevity of its devices. In short, the world is moving towards Apple. Aren't you? Could this monopoly be harmful for phone innovation in the long run? And if you're happy with Android, tell us what keeps you in love with your phone. See you another day.